Hello, Mateo. Hello, good up? evening. Ay, good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> Excited. Charot. Anyway, kakamasay lang kita with Viva kasi parang you've chance for management. Parang pre-pandemic pa, di ba? But this is your parang first major-major talaga na project. So, naging choosy ka ba para pagdating doon sa first project mo? Kaya medyo natagalan. Um... I guess timing, timing lang din, diba? uh, Boss Vic is, is very, very particular and he knows what he wants. Viva is Viva because of him and, and the people around him. He's a, he's a magnificent, brilliant genius in, in our industry. And I think the timing lang niya because this project was supposed to be done four years ago. Diba? It was James before and then they passed it on to me. Um, and you know, hearing the title, Penduko, how can you say no to that? How can you not do that? Kumbaga? So I said yes to it four years ago, pero hindi natuloy dahil, you know, because of different factors. And then, pandemic happened, so tumigil na naman. And then, life went on, people started figuring out what they wanted to do. And then, post because of your going to natin. So, you know what I'm here we are. Pero during those times na yun nga, nabigay na siya sa'yo way back pa, di ba? Tapos dahil nagka-pandemic, hindi natuloy. So, medyo naisip mo ba na baka, baka ma-postpone na or ma-cancel entirely? You know, yeah. It, uh, it was supposed to be a TV series for a, while, a movie and then a TV series. They were figuring out what to do with it. Until today, until 2023, sabi MMFF will do this. So we did it. And I guess, again, sometimes you can't really force things. It just happens. It falls into place. You, know? um, you just have to be ready all the time para kapag bumubukas yung pinto, paso ka na agad, handa na ako ba. So I think that's what happened. Um, yun. Alam mo ka na paghandaan mo naman ng mabuti kasi kanina napag-usapan na yung topless mo daw sa anong tawag dito sa float diba? Pero kita naman natin sa poster na parang you really worked hard to become very fit not yung looks na nga but physically talaga for the action scenes and yeah. yun nga may pa-abs pa sa poster. Yeah, we, we really worked hard for the physical aspect of this. Um, a few months before this I was 175 and come to the movie I went down to 160. Um, for the movie and then we had a proper um, physical training regimen for that because last year we trained we became big bulky here we wanted to be more lean um, more uh, agile um, slim we didn't want to be bulky or, or too macho you know macho or anything so we really specifically did this for this role um, and, yeah, and I'd like to give that up to my trainers and, and the team for help guiding me to do this and then and then kasi mag end yung year no and Parang this has been your year, Mateo, kasi you had the unang hit it, and then Black Rider is doing very well, and then this, Penduko. So, how will you sum up lang all those blessings na natanggap mo for the year? Oh, it's very thankful. I'm very thankful, bro. Um, you know, sometimes in life, when you plan so hard, you want to do this, at that guy, sometimes, hindi, hindi dumadating, oh, bakit ka man, ganito? But when it comes, it comes, no? And, um, I guess in life, the universe, you always just have to be ready. Um, physically, mentally, spiritually, you have to keep ready all the time. Because you never know when it comes. You never know when the blessing comes. And when it comes, if you say no to something or you say delay, it won't come. So I believe, you know, in life, training is every day. You always have to be ready. You have to physically train. You have to strengthen your faith. You have to be a good person because when an opportunity comes, you get it and you do your best with it. So I'm very thankful for this year. Um, a lot of good things happen, um, but not you know, a lot of challenging things also happen. You know, but uh, we're ending the year beautifully. Um, uh, I'm excited for Christmas because MMFF is Christmas Day. <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm ex very excited. Very excited. The last na kasi yun nga this year and dami nang naging blessings plus kay ni Sara nag-open pa ng business yun, di ba? At ang isang inaantay na collaboration would be siguro a movie again after what? 13 years? 12? So pwede na ba next year na kayo naman ang magsama for oh, wow. something? <laughs> Sana! Hindi ko alam. Independe kay, uh, kay Boss Vic, uh, of course kay Sara and, and, and the whole team, no? Um, Sarah is very, very particular in the project she does and, and what she likes doing because then again, she believes in, you know, representing Filipino um, content, Filipino art. You know, she's, that's why she's very particular, especially with her music. It's all OPM. It's really original from um, Filipino artists. So she really wants to push that. So if we find something interesting, we'll see. We'll see. No? Thank you so much. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Din.